Is there a new test coming out in June 2024? Yes, but only for 15 days. Hey Sterile Processing Professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here, and in today's video, I have critical information you need to know about the CRCST exam. Before I jump into that, please hit the like button. Let's get this algorithm going so we can get this video to as many people as we can. Even put a comment down in the comment section because that helps the algorithm. You can put anything like new CRCST or Oogie boogie, I don't care. Okay, so we all knew that there were rumors that the CRCST exam was changing in 2024. And I looked into this and I created a video all about this new CRCST exam that was coming out and stated it was coming out in June, 2024. Well, there's a whole lot more information that HSPA did not let anyone know that they just dropped on their website. Is there a new test coming out in June, 2024? Yes but only for 15 days. HSPA has created what's known as a pilot test. Basically, they created the new test and they're gonna offer this new test for 15 days, which will give them the ability to gather as much data as they can as they work on completing the actual complete test. And guess what? Once that pilot exam closes on June 15th, nobody, and I mean nobody, will be able to test for the CRCST until September 10th. That's three months the test will be closed. Now let's talk about this pilot test for a minute. They are offering this pilot test for only 15 days for roughly 200 applicants, and it's being offered at a 30% discount rate. So instead of the normal $140 to test, it's gonna be 98 bucks. That's a pretty decent deal, but there's a catch. There's always a catch. Usually once you complete the exam at the testing center, you'll get your scores right away. It'll be like on the screen or you'll get a printout that they'll hand you and it'll say pass or fail right away. With this pilot exam, you won't get that. You'll take this test somewhere between June 1st and June 15th and you will not get your pass rate until end of September. That's greater than three months away. That's a long time to sit wondering if you pass the test or not. Now, I understand why though, and you, you need to understand as well. What they are doing with this pilot test is they're putting this test out for 15 days for 200 applicants because they are gathering data and statistics on every single question they are presenting to determine what overall raw scores should be for each version of the exam they're creating. So every single question will have a raw basic data on the difficulty of that question. And when they combine all these different levels of questions together, what pass fail rate makes most sense for that version of the test. There might be version A, B, C, D, E, F, G for all we know, but we don't get to know what versions we're taking. But here's something to think about. If you're one of those people that takes the test, the pilot test between June 1st and June 15th, you are a pioneer to the new exam that everyone else will be taking for years to come. And because there is no set pass fail rates yet, you are actually part of the creation of what a pass fail rate will look like for those tests moving forward. So basically, since you're setting the standards for the test, you and 199 other people, you have actually a better chance of passing because you're setting what is hard and what's easy. It's almost like in school when a teacher would grade on a curve. It's kind of like that, not really, but yeah. I'm gonna share the links down below in the description so you can get all this information and read a little deeper, but I'm gonna give you all this quick information right up front. The pilot exam is June 1st through June 15th. They want roughly 200 applicants, and once they've reached that number, they might close it off. So if you wanna do this, you need to be in there quick. The test is gonna be 30% off. Instead of paying 140, you're gonna pay 98 bucks. You will not get your results until the end of September, so you need to go in there knowing that, because that'll be pretty disappointing if you didn't know that. The exam is gonna be in English only. 
This pilot exam and the new exam is going to work off the content outline that was originally updated in November 2023, but then they just re-updated it. So it says January 2024, and that is also linked below. The pilot exam and the new exam are going to pull from three sources. So the first one is going to be the ninth edition sterile processing technical manual from HSPA. The second is the classic Amy ST79 2017 edition. And the last one is AORN's Guidelines for Perioperative Practice 2023. And all applications to take this pilot exam need to be received no later than May 30th. And thinking about it, May 30th is cutting it really close considering two days later the exam starts. That doesn't give you a lot of time to like schedule and hope that there's openings at the testing center. Now, if you want to squeeze in the old or current version of the test, you must have your application in by March 31st at the latest if you're doing an online version. Now, if you're doing the mail-in version, it says April 12th, but I would just do the online, get it locked in, and not worry about it. In the absolute final day, you can test on this current version of the CRCST is May 16th. Once the evening of May 16th closes, this current version of the test will be gone forever. And furthermore, they will close all testing from May 17th until May 31st, and then June 1st starts that pilot test. Now, I just threw a lot of information at you, and if you're curious, I'll give you a little bit of my opinions. I'm a little torn because taking the current exam is kind of a pretty easy process. There's not a lot of changes. There's not a lot of uncertainty. It's pretty straightforward. However, taking the pilot exam, you're setting the standards moving forward and that's kind of exciting. And because you're setting the standards, you kind of have this increased ability to pass. I personally thought about taking this pilot test just from sheer curiosity, but that would not be a good idea. And I'm not bragging or anything, but there's not many questions I'm gonna get wrong. And since they are gathering data statistically to create pass fail rates moving forward, I don't want to offset that data and make it harder for people than it needs to be. So you're welcome. I will bow out. Now, don't hesitate to throw all your questions that you have down below. I will do my best to answer as many as quickly as possible to make sure you are squared away for whatever it is you want to do. Take the current test, the pilot test, or wait for the new one. Any topics or videos you want to see, please put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.